And joining me now is Drew's friend, Brandon Wolf, who survived the shooting. Brandon is the press secretary for Equality Florida. And his new memoir is entitled A Place for Us is out now. Uh, Brandon, it's good to see you, but again, under the terrible circumstances of an epidemic of mass shootings across the country, all these years after Pulse, um, after what you went through, and still no federal ban on assault weapons. In fact, we've seen gun laws being taken back and watered down. Talk to us about that. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. And I appreciate that you named that it's a uniquely American crisis that yeah. we're experiencing because it is uniquely American. Other countries don't have this problem. And that's because they've had rational, reasonable conversations about limiting, putting guardrails on the right to own and carry firearms uh, in public. I also, it's not lost on me that, you know, this, this, there's some irony to the fact that there were these mass shootings this week because this is the week that we as Americans celebrate freedom. But there is no freedom for my best friend who went to a club and had a drink with me and his partner and never made it home to say goodbye to his mother. There's no freedom for the students in Sandy Hook or in Parkland who went to school and came out in body bags. There's no freedom. Um, for tens of thousands of people who have their lives ripped from them because of this country's obsession with easy access to firearms. And I know it's easy to feel numb when the numbers just keep pouring in. It's one city after another. But part of the reason that I wrote this book and centered my best friend Drew so much in it is because I want us to remember the human cost every single time we choose to do nothing about the American crisis of gun violence. They're not just numbers. They're missing faces at birthday parties. They're empty seats at dinner tables. They are people who have their futures stolen from them, their freedoms stolen from them, because we are obsessed with handing out guns on every street corner to whoever wants one. And we're dealing with the Supreme Court, which has now taken another case, a gun case, for the next session. So uh, that could even roll back a landmark decision which kept guns out of the hands of convicted people uh, convicted of domestic abuse. Yeah, this, this Supreme Court really right now poses a serious threat to uh, civil liberties, to freedom, to American democracy. Uh, every time they, they take up a case, this country holds its breath because so often they are, you know, redefining laws, they're, they're you know, acting outside their, their normal purview. Uh, they're taking a, a, I would say, you know, there's a lot of creative license they take with some of the, the readings of the Constitution. They are reshaping the way this country works. And it's a terrifying time, whether you're talking about gun safety legislation or you're talking about LGBTQ civil rights or voting rights or the right for people to have control over their own bodies. We have a Supreme Court that feels uniquely positioned against the popular wishes of the American people. Um, and and it's it's quite honestly, it's quite, quite terrifying to be an LGBTQ person and a survivor of gun violence when every time uh, every summer rolls around, every fall rolls around, we're holding our breath, awaiting the next decision from the Supreme Court. What concerns do you have about the governor of Florida, Ron DeSantis, with, who had a, a very strange new ad that we showed the other day? I'm not going to show it again, but going after our other and other Republicans, I should say, also going after the LGBTQ community. This governor has staked a very bizarre and out of touch lane in the 2024 presidential race. He's decided that he's going to run to the right of Donald Trump, that he's going to build an entire brand on raw homophobia, transphobia and general bigotry. I can't see just from a political standpoint, I can't see how that's successful. And the amount of damage that he's done to our community has been catastrophic for us. There are hundreds of books that have been challenged across the state because they feature LGBTQ characters. Dozens of them have been banned. We have school districts that are refusing to recognize the historical contributions of our community. We have a hostile climate toward trans people that would see them arrested in the bathroom at the Miami airport that they would normally use in New York City. Things are really scary. For LGBTQ people down here in the state of Florida right now. And we should take Ron DeSantis at his word when he says he wants to make America Florida. Brandon Wolf and the author, of course, of the new book, A Place for Us. Congratulations on the book and thanks very much for being with us.